For over 90 years, Southwest Gas has been a trusted community partner, serving the Southwest with clean and reliable natural gas service. We already understand the properties of natural gas, but as hydrogen blending becomes a prospect to reduce our already low carbon footprint, we are hard at work making strides to understand the safety and fundamental properties behind working with hydrogen blended gas. This way, we can develop policies and procedures to support hydrogen blending and show our continued commitment to sustainability, safety, and providing our communities with clean and reliable service for decades to come. This video is part one of a series showcasing the hydrogen blended gas demonstrations conducted by the Southwest Gas Hydrogen Pilot Action Team. Natural gas is composed mostly of methane, but contains other trace hydrocarbons and inert gases such as helium and nitrogen. During this demonstration, we are going to show you the limits of flammability of natural gas. I'm going to saturate the cylinder with natural gas and then insert a lighter into it and find where the 4 to 14% oxygen to fuel ratio is. As you can see, the cylinder is saturated with 100% natural gas. The 4 to 14 oxygen to fuel ratio is at the top. And what we are going to show you now is what happens when we introduce air into the cylinder. What you will see is a defined inner cone start to come as oxygen is mixing with the natural gas and it's going to float down and find the correct 4 to 14 percent. In the first comparison, we slow time three times and a faster flame speed is immediately observed with hydrogen blended methane. Hydrogen has a much higher flammability range than methane or natural gas and ignites more readily than either in the presence of air. Thus, a higher flammability range and quicker flame speed is observed in the compared blends slowed down three times. When comparing all the blends and natural gas side by side, a notable increase in flame speed is observed on mixtures with higher hydrogen percentages. This information is relevant to developing methods for ventilation procedures when working with hydrogen blended gas. This demonstration also provides a visual perspective to understanding the physical issue of flashback at higher hydrogen percentage blends. The luminous flame demonstration shows differences in incandescent flames, which can be observed on common household appliances such as fireplaces and gas lamps. Comparing a 100% natural gas flame with blends of increasing hydrogen percentages, we observe a steady trend with increasing hydrogen at customer delivery pressures. As the percentage of hydrogen increases, the flames appear to be smaller in scale, and the width of the eddies flowing left to right flow along a tighter and narrower path. The color of the fire appears to be fainter with increasing hydrogen, at least to the naked eye. The tips of the flame appear paler and are more of a cream color rather than the deep yellow observed on the natural gas flame. Overall, the flames are shorter, slimmer, and less turbulent at the tip. This demonstration shows differences in non-luminous flames which are observed on common household appliances such as stoves and water heaters. Comparing a 100% natural gas flame with blends of increasing hydrogen percentages, we observe a steady trend with increasing hydrogen at customer delivery pressures. As the percentage of hydrogen increases, the width of the outer mantle of the flames appear to be smaller in scale. They are slimmer, more bulbous, and round, while the inner cone becomes shorter and sharper. The overall flames are shorter, flow straighter, and are significantly more laminar. An audible increase is observed in flames of higher hydrogen percentages resulting from the higher flame speed.